For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Five years have passed since Berta Cáceres was assassinated in her home in La Esperanza, Honduras. Berta was the co-founder of the Civic Council of Popular and Indigenous Organizations of Honduras, COPIN. She was an indigenous revolutionary engaged in the defense of rights of indigenous people and of the land. She played a key role in the movement against the dictatorship after the 2009 coup. She faced a series of threats and physical violence throughout her activism. This was primarily because she led struggles in the defense of land and water and against capitalism and imperialism. Before her assassination, Berta had faced a campaign of constant harassment and threats from Honduran security forces as well as private security guards of the Desarrollos Energéticos SA company DESA. She had played a key role in the resistance to the construction of the hydroelectric project Aguazarca on the Gualcarque River, undertaken by DESA. In these five years since her assassination, Copin has waged a tireless struggle to achieve justice for Berta. After a long legal battle in November 2018, seven people were convicted for participating in the murder of Berta. Copin believes that the mere conviction of those involved in the murder isn't enough. For them, justice involves bringing those to trial who are involved in the planning and the financing of the operation. They point out that the powerful Atala Zabla family who held positions on the board of DESA is responsible for Berta's death. David Castillo, former military intelligence officer and president of DESA, was arrested when he was trying to flee the country for the United States in 2018. Records show Castillo coordinating with members of the Atala Zabla family about Berta and maneuvers to thwart Copin's determined resistance to the hydroelectric project. The trial of David Castillo has finally been scheduled for April 6th to 30th. As Copin and Berta's family mark five years since her murder, they have invited people from across the world to join them in their reiterated demands for justice. An international social media campaign is being organized to demand a just investigation and to ensure that David Castillo's trial proceeds without any delay. Copin is determined to continue its struggle in defense of the environment and human rights, as well as justice for Berta.